The Wacker Ground is iconic around the cricketing world. People just relate to the Wacker as being part of Western Australia. When I was a little boy, seeing Kim Hughes and Rod Marsh and Dennis Lilly, you know, these great people of, um, of Western Australian cricket. That's what Western Australian cricket means to me. It means having heroes and also looking to the future to, and uh, instilling in our guys who are playing the legacy they can leave is being heroes to the kids coming through or keeping that proud tradition which has been West Australian cricket. The way I was embraced here from the Wacker community, the, the, the staff, the, the squad, the coaches and that isolated sort of feel that everyone talks about, I just felt that meant you could bunker down together and it was a real you know, from a state versus state mentality, it was us versus them and we could really embrace that. All my mates from the Eastern States have always said you need a bit of a passport to get back into Western Australia, so we laugh about it, but I think that's where the family spirit comes from. It's that us versus them mentality that uh, we have always prided ourselves on and hopefully we'll keep priding ourselves on well into the future. You can't bowl medium pace half volleys to Sean Marsh. He's too good for that. Playing for the Fury is something, when you're a young cricketer, it's always something to aspire to, to represent your state. And then obviously to get the opportunity to play in a world-class facility like the Wacker, it's just incredible. I know that um, in recent times I've had some personal success and, and the team's done really well and I guess it's just something that um, girls coming through really aspire to, to do. I don't think there's anything in life that beats the, uh, you know, that feeling of winning a Sheffield Shield out in the middle here and, and then going back into the dressing room and you know the whole whack of staff coming into the uh, into the dressing room and we're celebrating and the team's there and the families are there. To me that's been the greatest moment of my life. Well, well played, straight down the ground, lovely shot, that'll go for four. Playing here against Pakistan. Uh, we were in trouble again and Adam Gilchrist walked to the wicket and Shoah Bakhtar was bowling like the wind and because of the sea breeze here, Shoah Bakhtar always bowls fast but when Shoah Bakhtar was running with that sea breeze behind his back, whoa, you knew you were alive. So um, to be able to make some runs that day, back with Gilly and watch uh, Ricky Ponting facing Shoah Bakhtar at his fastest uh, was a great experience. He's hit that one away nicely, it's going to go all the way down to the boundary at mid-wicket. My first recollection of that day against England was it was really hot, really hot. So the English guys were exhausted and I walked in with us about five for 350 I guess with a, a decent lead and uh, I was able to go out and just have some fun and relax and, and play a pretty carefree innings. My favourite memory out of all of that is when people come to me nowadays and say, I was there that day, or I was driving in the car, I was listening, and they always mention that day at the Wacker. You know, what about the Wacker that day? It was, you know, against the palm, hot day at the West Australian Creed Association ground. Doesn't get any better for a bloke. This is where his home ground was. You know, the Wacker will always be here for, for, for West Australian people, and the young kids uh, all aspire to, uh, to want to come out here and play, and we, we see that now in the Big Bash. You know, like selling out the ground in what eight minutes for the finals. I mean, the crowd has to be the best crowd in, in well, certainly in Australian domestic cricket. We've been a member for over 30 years. Our family used to come and uh, watch the cricket. We'd have our lunch under the trees on the the other side where the uh, Lily Marsh stand is now, and we had a marvellous day at the cricket. Peel for court behind. He's out. Dennis Lilly would have to be the most talked about name at the Wacker, I guess, with the chant around the crowd, with him steaming in with the, the doctor behind him. Oh, he's the god of West Australian cricket. Um, you, know, what, you know, what a great guy and, um, you know, what a fantastic cricketer. Always kept in touch with him, worked with him at the Cricket Academy, worked at him at the Wacker uh, with the Australian team. Um, 
You know, just being able to pick up the phone to one of the best bowlers that's ever played the game, uh, I feel very privileged. I think for me, uh, it's about excellence, um, pride, uh, you know, the Wacker, they want to be the number one uh, team in Australian cricket and that's just, it's not just on the field, it's off the field. Everyone knows the Wacker, they know where it is. Um, we've had a lot of success, we've had a lot of great cricketers go through the Wacker and I think people just relate to the Wacker as being part of Western Australia. To me, that's the brand is success. There's been some iconic moments on this ground uh, and you know, it's something that hopefully there'll be many, many more. Whether it's in 2020 cricket or one day cricket or test cricket, as long as we're producing heroes and we're producing exciting cricket, it doesn't matter what colour clothes they're in or, or how many overs you play, it's all good for the game.